My Tantalus 3D printer is getting an upgrade. It's getting a heated bed. So I thought I'd cover how I'm built doing my heated bed. Um, these are all the parts. I've got a power supply, a buck switcher, a uh, Tufnel mounting layer, thermal brake layer of FR4, a aluminium clad uh, heating, heating element, and a aluminium bed for the um, to mount the glass onto. It's nice and flat and then the glass. So I'll go over each piece um, from one end to the other. Now this is a just a standard, I, I've chose the Sony power supply because it's standard and it's very easy to get hold of. $15 New Zealand. Um, it's 90 watts and it's 19.5 volts, 4.7 amps and um, this switcher here um, basically can take that 19.5 volts, halve the voltage and double the current which is kind of handy because that's really what I want. I want about 10 volts at um, 8 amps for 80 watts. This is some tough knoll which is basically like um, circuit board but it's really thick. Uh, you can't melt it, it's, well you can't melt it easily. And um, This is some FR4 which is just a standard circuit board. I I peeled the copper off with a hot air gun. Now this stuff is really cool. Guy at work made this. This is aluminium clad. Um, it's, a, it's aluminium sheet of um, metal and it's got circuit board printed on it. And I added a um, thermal cutout. That's 192 degree thermal cutout. And I note that you have to crimp these on because if you solder them on you will blow the, the thermal cutout. And then I uh, manufactured this bit of aluminium here. Um, this this has some pockets cut out so that I can put my bulldog clips on for the mounting the glass. I've got one pocket cut out here for the thermistor, just a standard 100k thermistor, and then I've milled out a channel here for the wires. Uh, so that should all mount together. So basically, this this bed will just mount on top of there and, and slide on the screws. And then this will this will mount on top of there, and that'll mount on top of there. So it'll just all stack together nicely. And for a connector, I'm just using um, a standard Navara um, two-way waterproof connector because it's good for high current, and um, I had to have it in my drawer. So I'll here's the um, here's the circuitry. So you've got the the power mains power coming in through the power supply which is through the 90 watt power supply then through the um, buck switcher and you notice that because it's constant current I can just turn the current up and down and set how many watts my heated bed runs at which is really handy. Um, I'm probably going to run up basically uh, 80 watts which is uh, 10 volts at 8 amps and um, my ramps board apparently they're only, they don't like more than 16 volts so that's fine I'll just set my maximum voltage to about uh, 10 and um, and I think I'm pretty sure you've got to hook up TP1 for my thermistor and here's the heated bed uh, showing the um, thermal cutout and this probably won't show very well on my camera but those are all the layers it's, it's the glass the aluminium which is countersunk and the aluminium clad and a couple of nuts uh, then some FR4 just to thermally isolate the, uh, the alley clad from cooling down too quickly and then I've got the, the tough knoll at the bottom. So I'm going to put this all together quite short, uh, shortly and see if it all works. Hopefully it does. And uh, I mean here's one of my latest prints I'm getting without the heated bed. This camera is crappy but it's uh, looking pretty good and also did a um, one of those working bearing things and that's pretty cool that you can print that at one part hmm. anyway I should do an update when I've got this all together and working if you have any good advice please uh, leave a comment